You guys know what spoken word is? Yes. About 17. All right, cool, man. Just uh, roll with it. Listen to the words. It's the words that matter. Have you ever been hopeless, broken, lost? Have you ever been moving really fast in life but felt like you weren't really going anywhere? Well, let me be the first to admit that I have. And this is my story, twisted in the rhymes, dedicated to help push you forward for his glory. See, I'm part of that socially accepted norm where our culture seems to be okay with the fact that tonight, one out of every three children will go to bed without their father in the home. An epidemic by far, a generation of men growing up not knowing who they are. My father was behind the prison bar. Fellas, let's face it, we didn't get that affirmation, so we spend our whole lives trying to become the star. Worshipping the girls, money, drugs, because culture had ingrained in me. If I had all those, then I was grown. Man, I lived that life. It left me cold-hearted, overdosed. Man, I was halfway gone. Spit on you, pushed you away, built my own throne. Man, that left me stranded for dead on the side of the road all alone. I doubted if you were even there, and if you were there, did you even care? This hand of cards I was dealt wasn't fair. Where are you now? When I'm down and out, do you even care? Are you even there? My actions screamed for help, I needed saving, but it was like no one was near, it was like no one could hear. Then on that night of August 11th, 2009, I heard a man say that God had a plan for me, that he died just for me, that all my sin was paid for the complete redemption fee. My brokenness was met with love, joy, and peace for the first time this blind man could see. That evening, everything changed in a moment. Poof, David Blaine, different swag, different life on that Lecrae off that little Wayne. How we can love me in the middle of all my wrong That's a scandalous grace That old man was gone without a trace This mouth went from cursing to praise In my hands I was raising Surrendering all I began to desire Different things all I could seem to sing was Amazing grace how sweet the sound. Oh, good God, it was the sound of freedom. Yes, I've been freed. Oh, my Israel hope and new bead. Dropped the old me. I wanted to know everything about God, so I opened up his holy book. Every line, every page was a hook pulling me close to my heart he took. But it doesn't end there because the God I serve is in the business of turning boys to men. So I had to tell my flesh, we've come to the end of the road. Boys to men. Stop writing my own story, gave him the pen. New clay, perfect potter. On my Jeremiah 18, 6, which was a crucifix, which inflicts the burning fire for the loss. I was clinging to that cross. You ask for all of me, all of me you have. My golden calf has been shattered. The Lamb of God has been raised, so let's proceed. He's as he did the woman in Genesis that crushed the serpent that would make the devil concede that we succeed. He's under our feet once and for all, my all in all. Even when I fall, he's the restorer and rebuilder of every broken down wall. No more of the suitors, I'm captivated by your splendor. If that cross and your resurrection was you getting on a knee, my response is I do. You made me new. For my life is planned and purpose to follow you. Without you, what would I do? I follow you. Now that I'm separated, I'm dedicated to making sure this world is educated about this stunning, matchless love. So how will we see our generation of locked up hearts be set free? Not by man-made traditions, religions, superstitions, hiding behind mass Christians. No, but by genuine Jesus, people are the key. And being like him when he said in Luke 4.43, I must preach this good news. That's right, it's the good news. It's the gospel on my 116, the unashamed crew. Get this, God is on our team. Matter of fact, he is the team we can't lose victim or victor condemned or righteous you choose it's an embarrassing blowout it's like if he was the seahawk and the devil of bronco and come on y'all you already know who stole the show our god is so powerful that he just breathed and all the stars were born he just breathed and us as mere dust just came to life and that same breath is in me and you what will we do we must fight Get ready, we are winning, overcoming, waging war, get ready. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He said, I am who I am, the first and the last, the beginning 
and the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Like a painter that has a blank canvas that flings on paint, God fling the stars into existence, the planets into orbit, life into being. I'll say tonight, ladies are not here, so I'm skipping that part. But the society, they try calling us Generation X. Well, I say Generation Extraordinary. Without further delay, let's make our way into the Hunger Games in rebellion to society. Call us a Maki J. God is hiring. Perfection isn't one of his qualifications. See, he turned a stutterer into a public speaker, a murderer into a ruler, a shepherd boy into a king, some fishermen and some tax collectors into disciples. See, God doesn't necessarily need your expertise. He just wants a heart that is willing to follow his lead and discover the purpose that is in me. Put your hand over your heart. You feel that? It's purpose, it's humanity, it's life, it's perspective, it's God's spirit in you. We have a world to win for him. What will we do? We must fight. That's it. Yeah, man, I just want to share for a couple minutes. Man, 